Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the JS2 versus the P90 personal defense weapons. Uh, a lot of you wanted to know what the deal was with both of these guns, because when you look at the stats themselves, they almost look identical, and it can be very hard to know why you would want to use one over the other, and which one is going to be better for your certain type of playstyle. And so after using both for a couple hours now, while they are very, very similar, and they fit the hip fire machine of death kind of role, uh, there are slight differences and they will suit certain roles or what you're kind of looking for. And so to start things off, they both have a blazing fast rounds per minute. They both clock in at 900 RPM, which is just incredible, but all that horsepower does come with some drawbacks and that mainly comes in the form of their damage model. They both only have a max damage of 20 and that's going to drop off to 11.2 at long range. And so when you compare that to pretty much all of the other weapons in the game, that's a reduction in their damage. A lot of the weapons are going to do around 25 damage up close, and so you are going to have to put an, ex an extra bullet if you are doing max damage into your enemy. So instead of four shots, it's going to require five. That's not a huge deal considering it, they do have an amazing rounds per minute, so you're going to have a lot of bullets flying down range, but if you're not very accurate and if you're going against someone who is using a high RPM assault rifle, you are going to be at a disadvantage when, both, when using both of these guns. Uh, another disadvantage of this high RPM is that you are going to have to deal with a fair amount of recoil. The JS2 has a substantial vertical recoil of 0.38 and then a left kick of 0.2 and a right of 0.4. The P90 on the other hand has a little less vertical of 0.35 but it has just an incredible amount of horizontal. It's, it's going to come in at a left kick of 0.5 and a right of 0.5. So at least if you were aiming down sight and you were trying to take people out at medium range, you don't really want to use these at long distances like that 11 damage or 11.2 damage at long range is going to take forever for you to take out those targets, but at medium distance and you are aiming down sight, I, at least for the recoil pattern, found that the JS2 was just a little bit more manageable compared to the P90. Uh, another advantage of the JS2 is that it does have a faster reload speed. It clocks in at 2.3 seconds to go through the short reload time, or if you have a bolt in the chamber, and then 3.15 seconds to go through the long, while the P90 has a short reload time of 2.45 seconds, which I realize isn't a huge difference compared to the JS2, but a staggering long reload time of 3.45 seconds. But probably the nicest feature of both of these guns is that they have just an incredible amount of ammunition in their magazine. They both have 51 rounds in a mag, and so if you round a corner, you catch your enemy by surprise, you don't have to reload, and you can pretty much just spray a bunch of bullets down range. And because of that high RPM, and while I realize that the damage is a little bit lower, you can take out just an absurd amount of people without having to reload. Uh, but now you might be thinking to yourself, why in the world would I ever want to use the P90? The JS2 has a faster reload speed, it's got a more manageable recoil pattern, it's got the same damage model, the same rounds per minute. What are the advantages of the P90? Why would I ever want to use this weapon? Well, we haven't looked at the last category, and that is hip fire accuracy. The P90 has the greatest hip fire accuracy out of all of the personal defense weapons, and maybe out of all of the weapons in the game. Like, it is flat out amazing. You can round a corner, see someone at a medium distance, and not even have to aim down sight. Like, it is going to take you a little while, like your bullets are going to spread a little bit, but as long as you're somewhat accurate, you can take out that target without having to aim down sight. Like, it is simply incredible. You can also do that with the JS2. Don't get me wrong, these are both hip fire machines, but if you are looking for a very fast rounds per minute gun that also has the best hip fire accuracy in the game, then the P90 may be right up your alley. So with the stats out of the way, hopefully it is very apparent that you are going to want to use these up close and personal. The further out the target goes, the more challenging it is going to be for you to take them out. You're going to have a reduced damage model, you're going to have to deal with a lot of recoil, and even if you try to take advantage of their amazing hip fire accuracy, the further out they go, 40 meters out, like you are simply just not going to be able to kill them. And so with that being said, why would you want to use one over the other? Well, for me personally, at least for my type of play style, I kind of was leaning towards the JS2. I do like to hip fire people down, and especially when I'm in those panic scenarios and I round a corner and they are right in my face, having an amazing hip fire accuracy is just fantastic. But if I see someone 10 meters out, 20 meters out, I just have this gut instinct to just aim down sight. It doesn't matter what weapon I'm using, even if I know that I can hip fire people down, I just kind of prefer the extra accuracy that comes along with aiming down sight. That being said though, if you are looking for something that is a little bit different or you just want to hip fire people, then I highly recommend 
recommend trying out the P90. If you know you're gonna be on a map where you can take advantage of the terrain to block line of sight and kind of close the gap, it's it's simply phenomenal. Like it does take a little bit longer than if you were using, let's say the FAMAS or the CZ3A1 to drop your enemies. But if you round the corner and you see a bunch of people and you just want the, the satisfaction of not having to aim down sight and having the amazing hip fire accuracy, then the P90 is just so much fun to use. Like it's infectious. You want to just run around and spray people day spray people down all day long. It is an absolute blast. And so overall, it's really going to come down to what type of playstyle you're looking for. In my opinion, the, the JS2 is an overall better weapon. It, it doesn't have as good of a hipfire accuracy, but because it makes up for it with its recoil pattern, it's just a little bit more manageable and all the other stats are basically identical, I was leaning more towards the JS2. But if you are looking for something a little bit different, you're looking for some laughs and you just think that the P90 sounds amazing and you want to take advantage of the hipfire accuracy, then definitely give it a go. It's an awesome weapon. It may take a little bit, a little bit to get used to because there are not a lot of hipfire weapons in the game right now. But trust me, you put in the time, you get adjusted to it, it is well worth the time investment. Uh, so if this is all sounding glorious to you and you would like to try them out yourself, I do have a couple of customization recommendations that will improve both of these weapons. So the first slot, you're always going to want to use the red dot sight. If you slap on the ACOG scope or 3.4 times, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. Like, I'm going to slap you if you do that. Unless you're looking for a challenge, then just stick with, with the RDS for this slot. Uh, as for the second slot, you are going to want to use the laser sight. It's going to reduce your cone of fire. And since these weapons are already amazing hipfire machines, having a little bit more hipfire accuracy, can't go wrong with that. Uh, but as for the barrel attachments, this is where things get a little bit more interesting. The easy answer is to say, just use the compensator. Even if you have plans on just hip firing people down, even if you're using the P90, there are going to be combat scenarios where you want to aim down sight. You want that extra bonus accuracy of aiming down sight and having a, a little bit more manageable recoil pattern is just going to make your life a little bit more easier. But if you want to be a little bit more stealthy and you want to sneak around the map and you're playing on team deathmatch or domination where you don't have to deal with those pesky commanders always lighten you up on the minimap, then try using the suppressor. Even though it is going to reduce your bullet's muzzle velocity, which can suck and it makes it even more challenging to take people out at a distance, you're not going to want to take people out at long range to begin with. And so if you can sneak around the map and you can catch your enemy by surprise, the suppressor is flat out fantastic. The final one that I recommend, and this may catch people by surprise, is that if you are using the JS2 and you want a little bit more versatile weapon, then try out the Heavy Barrel. There were a couple of kill streaks during this entire highlight reel where I was actually using the Heavy Barrel, and then it kind of took me by surprise the first time I picked it up, but for whatever reason, at least at medium distance, you, you are going to have to deal with a little bit more recoil, and I know that can be daunting for some people, but at medium range, for whatever reason, I was taking people out very, very quickly. It could have been a fluke, maybe it was just bouncing and I was getting a bunch of headshots because of the recoil pattern, but for some reason, the Heavy Barrel, at least on the JS2, uh, was quite successful. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is it for today's comparison. I hope you enjoyed. If you have two other weapons that you would like me to try next, let me know down below in the comment section. And also make sure to thumbs up the ones you would also like me to try. It just makes it much easier for me to kind of get a general consensus of what you guys would like me to try next. Uh, but until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.